So this video is primary for members so I can guide the discussion that we're going to have here in the den tonight. Uh, so first up, this is the second chart you're looking at. And I think one of these days what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trade the second chart. I think the second chart in the system is strong enough to just be traded by itself. First thing we're going to do is let's outline our opening range for the NQ today. So what we'll do is we'll uh, just use this and we'll take the high of the opening range and the low of the opening range. Of course, that is uh, week one trading 101. You should know that range, you should know the levels uh, that will guide some of the trading day. First thing I want to point out is into the open. What do we see? We see the the bottom chart developing into the deviations uh, and we do see uh, levels. So there's a very clear level here. You should pick up on obviously on the small tick and big tick. We don't have those charts up. You'd be getting a lot more edge than what we are in the five minute. So there's the level there. Uh, and what you see here is once it gave up this deviation area here, you know what your target is. You know what your target is. Once it gave up this deviation area, you know your target's the next deviation area and maybe here. Now, one of the things to notice and one thing that you should be looking for is, and, and this is in the training as well. So I, I've got a whole, this, this second chart has a couple videos of training. So if you haven't visited that and you're in the membership, you wanna visit that area of the training again. This whole level here holding over this period of time does tell you something, especially where it's holding within that channel. It tells you that there's a higher probability that there's going to be an upward check. That upward check, once again, what do we look for? And of course, we could talk about what's above here, but uh, you should know how to read all these. These are the multi time frame RDAs with the hour close lines on here. Once again, this is all in the training. I just want to highlight this. So what are you looking for? Well, the second that this holds, and then at second that it solidly trades through this, you're just looking for the next deviation area. And you're just saying what happens there. It's a reaction area. What happens? It was solidly rejected. So at a minimum, this should have told you that, okay, it's probably a good trade to get short, especially if the small tick uh, was showing you that the momentum had shift. And I can almost guarantee without even pulling up the chart that the small tick in this candle showed a momentum short algorithm. Uh, and then that went down to obviously the deviation starting to actually uh, swing downward. So you're looking at the slope of the deviations, the slope of the line. You're seeing that. But into the close, or we, we, we do see around the 13-15 pivot is right here. And then that 13-15 pivot held. That's what you're looking for. So I, I, I use these, these. I see this time and time again. That's why it's in the system. That 13-15 pivot held. You might say, no, it didn't. It broke. No, it held. It held. And that's why on this candle here, I pretty much called it's long into the close. If you're in the Discord group, if you're in the trade room, you know that I said, hey, it looks like it's long into the close. 50% of OR, if not OR top. That's really what we're looking for. And this whole move, small tick wise, never really went momentum short. You never got a signal to get out. If you were trading strictly the five minute, on this chart, you'd have a little bit of an edge, but if you were trading strictly the five minute, uh, this would have been near impossible to trade. That's why the small tick, the tick charts that I teach, that I that I really trade, are really that secret weapon. So you'll see here, it went, I do mention when it goes solidly through, you should take that as a actual clue, it went solidly through, held up, first reaction, went solidly through, next reaction, kind of played around between this range here and then ultimately closed here. So that'll guide some of the narrative that we'll talk about here uh, as I talk about the second chart.